good morning students of class 7 we will be studying the first chapter of maths that is integers all of you be prepared with your copy and pen and uh, along this you will need the book or uh, your textbook also because you will be doing the sums from there in the first exercise before that let me explain about integers now you must have studied about integers in your last class have you studied in class 6 you must have studied Integers are also called negative numbers. Why they are called negative numbers? Negative numbers. Negative. We have been studied about positive numbers. So long whatever numbers you are studying. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All these numbers are positive numbers. Why do we say them as positive numbers? We are not writing plus 1 plus 2 like this. We are not putting this plus sign be before the number. We are just writing 1, 2, 3, 4. It is understood they are positive numbers. These numbers you are learning since your childhood. As you have entered the school, you have studied starting number. Numbers where from where did you start? You start from 1, 2, 3, 4 natural numbers. But you never put the sign plus. It is conventional sign that 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever numbers we are dealing with, whatever digits, rather we call them as digits, not numbers. These are digits. So whatever digits you are dealing with, these are nothing but positive, positive digits. You have never uh, seen or you have never uh, utilized negative numbers because it is it has not come across you why will you study negative numbers negative numbers means they are having minus sign minus one minus two minus you know what is this utility of minus sign what why do we study the minus sign suppose you are um, in the day-to-day -day activity in the day-to-day -day life suppose if you observe that you are dealing with any numbers with any any object or any substance uh, suppose you are keeping ice in the freezer so whenever you are putting water in the freezer it is getting converted to ice okay that you have already studied in physics now this ice is having a temperature of below zero degree below zero degree celsius because you know that the minimum freezing temperature is zero degree celsius so below zero degree how will you count? You will count by minus 2, minus 2, minus 3 like this. Above 0 degree, you will count with plus 1, plus 1 degree Celsius, 2 degree Celsius like this. And below this, you will count as minus 1 degree Celsius, minus 2 like this. Why we are saying this? Because why do we need this? For that purpose only, we need the negative numbers. Suppose you are staying um, in a high, uh, you are going to a shopping mall. There you are going to a uh, you are going in a lift you are arriving to the lift to a floor which is at the topmost level so you will find on the elevator it is written plus 10th floor or 10th floor that means there is no plus sign if there is no plus sign you are going to the 10th floor rising up but when you are going to the down level below the ground level this is the ground level below the ground level you are going to the car parking area that is the elevator or lift will show in the sign digital display it will show minus one minus one floor minus second floor like this that means the lift is going below the ground level so there we will find the use of negative number there are very user very there are too much uses of negative number in our daily life suppose your father is depositing fund in the bank so the amount in the in the bank is increasing but whenever he is withdrawing the amount to from a certain level, suppose he has a fund of 2000 rupees, rupees 2000, he is depositing, so he is adding, adding more rupees 2000, it becomes 4000, okay. Now he wants to uh, withdraw the fund, so if he is withdrawing the fund, uh, he cannot withdraw more than 4000, if he is withdrawing more than 4000, it is showing if he is withdrawing 4000 his balance is becoming zero now the bank person will say that your balance has become zero and furthermore it will show negative uh, negative because withdrawal is negative withdrawal is negative you are withdrawing the amount means it comes to the fact that you are you are having uh, negative your balance is coming negative or down 
So whenever we are rising up, it is positive. Whenever we are rising, going down, it is negative. Whenever you are adding, it is positive. Whenever you are withdrawing, it is negative. In this way, we, you are utilizing this in your day-to-day, -day, uh, utilizing the negative numbers in your day-to-day -day life. You have the mountains. Mountains height are positive. So, mu so much feet. Below this is the ground level. Below there is the sea level. Sea level. So, as you go down below the sea, your distances will be going negative. That means you are going below the ground level. So, here we find the utility of negative numbers. So, it is clear why are we studying the negative numbers. Now, how do we do the operations or what, what are the properties of negative numbers? What operations, how do we add them, how do we subtract them? That we will study. Negative numbers, we will study. Uh, integers we first of all specify as positive integers and negative integers. Positive integers and negative integers. Okay. So positive integers are plus 1, plus 2 like this. In case of integers we will writing, we are writing the sign. This sign is very important. This is negative integers. Then again, the positive integers, we, we, we are specifying this using a number line. What is a number line? Here we are the 0. We are specifying both the positive as well as the negative in the number line. In this way. So, these are positive integers, these are negative integers. In this way, we are specifying the integers as positive and negatives. Now, what are the other properties? In case of positive integers, you know that the value increases. As we go this, the value of the number increases. That is, 5 is greater than 1. But in case of negative integers, as we move, the value is decreasing. That is, minus 5 is less than minus 1. Minus 5 is less than minus 1. So, as you move from left to right, the value is increasing. Here, plus 5 is greater than plus 1. So, is it clear? The, this is the first property of the number line. The second property of the number line is that uh, if you want to if you want to find out the absolute value of the numbers, if you want to find out the absolute value of the numbers, absolute value means if you are taking any negative integer, suppose minus 5. Absolute value of minus 5 is, absolute value is 5. Irrespective of the sign, what is the digit there? You call them as, you call it as the absolute value of the integer. Whether it is positive integer, negative integer, absolute value is irrespective of the sign. Whenever you are comparing the two integers, whenever you are comparing two positive integers, you know, that you are thinking about, you are taking only the, uh, you are taking only the absolute value. Whenever you are given two negative integer, so the integer with the smaller absolute value is greater. Suppose minus five minus one. Integer with the smallest smaller absolute value. Smaller absolute value is one. So minus one is greater than minus five. Next, we come to addition of integers. Whenever we are adding two integers, how will you add two integers? Suppose you are adding two positive integers that you already know, plus 5 and plus 1. You know that 5 plus 1 is 6. That you already know. You are adding a positive integer with a negative integer. Okay. Positive integer with a negative integer. What will you do? You will first see add with a minus 1 in bracket. That means you are adding with a adding this 5 with a minus 1. That means whatever number you are adding, you are subtracting 1 from it. Minus means you are subtracting 1 from 5. That means 5 minus 1 it is 4. Because of the minus sign, you are subtracting 1 from 5. 
these are the two things now you are adding one negative number and one both the numbers are negative so you are adding minus 5 and minus 1 if you are adding minus both negative numbers you will take the absolute value of the numbers 5 and 1 you will add the absolute value of the numbers 5 plus 1 is 6 and you will put the sign of the numbers that is minus 6 so in this way we are adding the numbers two positive numbers one positive one negative and one negative one positive so you are adding uh, one a negative and both and next is if you are adding two numbers the absolute value of the greater number is uh, the absolute value absolute uh, the greater number is having a negative sign and you are adding like this so how will you do you add plus you add 5 minus 5 You will first take the absolute value of the number. Absolute value of the number. See what is the sign of the number before that. That is negative. That means you are subtracting that. That means you are subtracting 1 from 5 from 1. But subtracting one, 5 from 1 is not possible. So what you are doing? You are subtracting 5 minus 1. That is 4. And putting the sign of the greater number. So putting the sign of the greater number. So this is how you are adding in the same way these and this both are same only the difference is that here it is minus 4 and here this plus 4. Why? Because the sign of the greater number is plus 1 plus over here. So you are having the sign as plus. Here the sign of the greater number is minus so you are having minus 4. Next we will go to. Next we will be dealing with uh, additive inverse. Additive inverse of a negative number or a positive number of any number. Additive inverse of minus 1 is plus 1. That means what number should be added with minus 1 to become answer will be 0. That is minus 1 plus plus 1 is 0. What number will be added to minus 1 so that the answer is 0. So plus 1 will be added to minus 1 so that so minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0. Similarly, additive inverse of plus 1 is minus 1 because plus 1 adding with minus 1 becomes 0. So, this is clear. Next, we will move to subtraction. Let me show the addition in the number line. How will you do the addition on the number line? Here, I have a number line like this suppose 0 you are adding all these additions I will be doing on the number line okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you are adding 5 and 1 you are adding first you are adding 5 and 1 that means here there is 5 from 5 you first identify 5 you are adding 1 1 unit so, the answer is 6. You are getting 6 plus 6. Okay, you always write plus 6. Next, you are adding 5 with minus 1. Here, there is 5. You are adding minus 1. Minus 1 specifies. This minus specifies reverse direction. That means from 5, whenever you are adding 1, you are going to the right because of the addition sign. Whenever you are doing minus 1 you are going to the left that is minus 1 so the answer is 4 so here the answer is 4 thirdly there is minus 5 added with minus 1 so here you have minus 5 minus 5 you are adding minus 1 here there is minus 5 you are going to the negative direction of minus 1 because there is minus we are going 1 unit to the minus that is minus 6 here the answer is minus 6 whenever there is negative sign you are going to the left whenever there is positive sign you are adding plus 
with a plus number positive number you are adding with the positive number you are going to the right whenever you are adding a negative number you are going to the left minus 5 plus 1 here there is minus 5 you are doing plus 1 plus 1 means plus means you are going to the right that means here you are going to the right that means answer is minus 4 so all these additions we can you can do it on the number line although the number line you cannot do too much bigger numbers because your number line is in a limited space so that is the difficulty of adding or subtracting in the number line because it is in a limited space you have to do it you cannot do in a long big big long space in the copy so you are following this formula method but the method of adding now you will be we will be doing the subtractions using the number line first let me show using the number line and then you can do subtraction in the number line so let me give some examples and show you let me rub all this and i will give you fresh new examples to show how to subtract to positive numbers negative numbers and here i have used So suppose you are first you are subtracting a positive number and both the numbers are positive. So plus 4 minus I am writing the minus sign and this is a why I am writing in this way to show that this is a positive integer this is also a positive. Both the integers are positive only the sign in between them is subtraction so you are subtracting a smaller number from a bigger number that means you are there is a minus sign in between 4 minus 3 is 1 1 with a positive every time you have to specify the sign whether it is plus or minus because in integers the sign is very important or your answer will go wrong so this is plus 1 now how will you show in the number line plus 4 here there is plus 4 you are subtracting 3 from plus 4 that means subtracting minus sign means where will you move will move to the left how many units we will move this specify the number of units this will specify the number of units and this will specify the direction where you will move to the right or to the left minus sign specifies the left direction so first you identify the one number this is 4 you have identified where 4 is you are next what operation you will do you will move to the left why because there is a minus sign. Now how many units you will move? That you will be getting from the another number. So 1, 2, 3. You are moving 3 units to the left. 3 units to the left means answer is plus 1. Okay. So wherever you are stopping that is the answer. You can do it in the opposite way also. You are taking plus 3. You are moving to the 3 units to the, uh, to the back. Then also you will be getting the same thing. Now next we will be going to, um, this is for subtraction of two positive numbers, one positive number and one negative number like this. So one positive number minus one negative number. First you specify the positive number over here. You specify the positive number over here on the number line. This is the positive number 4. Okay, and you are subtracting uh, this minus sign specifies the left direction. So here another minus sign is there. So first you are moving, first you, you will say that you are moving to the negative direction three digits. But here again there is one, here again there is one minus sign. So what we will do? You will not move, both the minus signs are there. So you will not move to the negative sign because once you are moving to three digits over here, again you will be moving three digits over there. No. First, both, since there are both the negative numbers. So since here both the negative numbers are there, you will move to three digits to the right. That is, answer is plus seven. So whenever you are 
taking a positive number, subtracting a negative number from a positive number, that means you are moving to the right. Because of the two negative numbers, you are not specifying the direction as negative, but you will be moving to the right. Because minus and minus becomes plus, like this. So you are moving to the right. Next, you are next thing is you are moving suppose positive number or let me specify take this as negative number and negative number both the numbers are negative where is minus 4 this is minus 4 and again you will write in this form so now what I will do you are taking minus 4 okay Minus 4 and because of this both plus sign, where will, you, where will you move? You will move to the right. How many digits? 3 digits. So, your answer is minus 1. So, whenever there are two negative numbers, you will not move to the right. You will move to the, you will not move to the left. You will move to the right. Now, last option is there. You are taking a, both the positive number, one positive, one negative. Both the negative numbers. And lastly, you can take one negative number added with a positive number. The greater number is having, uh, greater absolute value of the number is having a negative sign. So, answer should be minus 7. That I have shown? No. So, here I am taking minus 4. I am moving. Since for this digit minus sign, I will move. To the left, how many digits? 3, 1, 2, 3. So here, minus 7. My code is becoming shorter, so it is minus 7. So these are the options of additions and subtraction using number line as well as by here also I will show you how. Here I have shown that two positive numbers you are subtracting that you already know. You are subtracting a smaller number from a greater number that is you are getting 1, 4 minus 3 is 1 and the sign of the number is sign of the greater number. Sign of the greater number is 4. You are subtracting minus 3 from minus 4. That is minus 4 minus minus 3. So this becomes minus 4 minus, sorry, plus 4 plus 3. Minus minus becomes plus. So minus minus becomes plus and sign of the greater number is positive. Minus 4 minus minus 3. So minus 4 minus minus becomes plus 3. So now you see the sign that is minus and then do the operation that is 4 minus 3 that is 1. Sign of the greater number is minus. Sign of the greater number is minus. What is the operation you are doing? You are doing the operation as minus because there is a minus sign. Or you can write it as 3 minus plus 4. That then also it is the same thing. You can show it in the number system also same way. Okay. Now 3 minus plus 4 you are writing here there is 3. You are moving left. How many digits? 1, 2, 3, 4. So minus 1. Because of the minus sign you are moving left. How many digits? This number is specified. How many units you will be moving? Then you are having minus 4 plus 3. Minus 4 and you are adding minus 4. Minus 4, you are, you are subtracting plus 3. That means like this. That means again it is becoming minus minus plus. So minus 4 minus into plus is minus 3. That is minus 7. So in the this all things we have studied that whenever you will multiply a positive sign with a negative sign, it is giving you negative sign. As over here. Whenever you are multiplying a negative sign with a negative sign, it is giving you plus sign. Whenever you are multiplying plus sign with a plus sign, it is giving you plus sign. So these are the things which you should keep in mind while doing subtraction or addition. Okay. Now, exercise 1.1, you will be doing exercise 1.1. Here, the, you, you will see that there are various questions depending on 
to show the number line. Write these integers in ascending order. Write these integers in descending order on the number line. The various integers are given. You have to find them which are in ascending or descending order. As I have shown you the rule. What is the rule of the number line? That on the positive side as long as you are going from left to right, your value is increasing. On the negative side, as you are going from right to left, your value is decreasing. So, the same thing you will be applying over here. All of you are keeping the note of whatever I am telling. Everyone should write it down. So, here you have minus 18, minus 9, minus 4, 0, 3, 8, 12. These are the numbers given, marked on the number line. Out of them, I am writing down the numbers. I am writing down the numbers. Minus 18, minus 9, minus 4, 0, 3, 8, 12. 3, 8, 12. So, how will you write the numbers as per ascending order? First, the lowest number. What is the lowest number? That is 0. So, 0 is the lowest number. Next, moving from, sorry, the first, the lowest number since here there is the negative number, so first the lowest number, whenever you will specify the lowest number, I have told you that on the number line, this is the minus 18. So, minus 18 will have a lowest value. So, this is having the lowest value. Then, which number is having the highest value? Next, minus 9. Next, minus 4. 0, 3, 8. So, as it is given on the number line, in the same way you are specifying some integers are marked, write these integers in ascending order and in the same way these integers in the descending order also you can write coming from 12 to 18. Few dots have been marked on the above number line, write the in appropriate integer in this dot. So, if the dots are given, previous dot. This you can do at your home also because the previous dot is minus 17. This dot is given. So, this is minus 17. This you can do nothing to do. Arrange minus, uh, arrange question number 2. Arrange 7, minus 5, 4, 0 and minus 4 in ascending order. 7, minus 5, 4, 0, minus 4. Which is the lowest on the number line? How will you mark? 0 is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4 and minus 5. So, and here there is 5, 6, 7. So, this is the lowest. So, minus 5, minus 4, 0, 4, 7. So, these are the numbers written as per the ascending order and marked on the number line. Now, question number 3. Question number 3 in a quiz, this type of sums I will do in the next class uh, but still I am explaining a little bit of them in a quiz. Positive marks are given for correct answer, negative marks are given for the incorrect answer. If Rohit's score is 5 successive rounds where 15, minus 3, minus 7, 12 and 8, what was this? So for, for positive, for positive Correct answer, correct answer, positive marks. So, how many positive, correct answer are there? And for incorrect answer, there is negative marking. That is minus sign is given. So, if Rohit score in 5 successive rounds are 15 minus 7 minus 3, what was the total? So, he has gone 15 plus 15 minus 3. This is for incorrect. Then again minus 7 plus 12. This is for correct and plus 8. So, you will add all these numbers. Add all these numbers together. After adding, you will get the answer. What is his final score? Answer as final score. That is, whenever you are adding the, these are for the correct numbers. He has done correct answers for which he has, uh, for successive rounds, he has got this much. And for incorrect question, he has got minus 3, minus 7. In the successive 5 rounds. So, there in the 5 rounds, you have got this type of score. First round this, second round this. In this way, he has got the score as this. So, what is the total? Total of this is, you will add 
all the positive numbers, you will add all the negative numbers and you will find the total value as answer as 15 plus 12 plus 8 plus minus 3 plus minus 7. This will give your answer because total he has played 5 successive rounds of which he has got the values in each successive round as this. So this is 27 and 8, 35, 35 and this is minus 3 minus 7 means minus 10. So 35 minus 10 is 25. So in this way he has got the score. So question number till question number 3 I have done. So question number 4 you try by your own and then I will show you. All of you practice the questions whatever I have given. Thank you.